hey guys welcome back so in this video i will be showing you how to make use of the printf function to print out the debug messages or like any kind of a messages you want to print out uh, in debug mode so without using any UART protocol you can actually see on the screen uh, in the itm data console the messages you want to print out while the program is running off so for that i am creating a project with a uh, you know l4768 microcontroller you can use any microcontroller that's fine you after the project is created just enable uh, the debug settings to serial wire so after this uh, go to i mean if you are doing with uh, your current or existing project just look at the clock configuration in that uh, just have a note down of like a, what is the edge clock so the value or which the edge clock is getting i mean got configured we need this value while putting the i mean the clock at the debug configurations the SWO, SWO, SWO clock so that's that so indeed i mean i don't have any other configurations here so if you are done with your configurations you can generate the code so by pressing controllers generate the code here yeah so after that include the input output library So that is actually stdio.h yeah so since we are using printf so this will be helpful and and before writing printf we just need to include one more uh, you know function so i will be you know you can directly you know write it down or i will be putting this in the description you can copy it from there so without uh, writing this uh, function externally uh, you won't be able to print up, uh, print it out so now I am going to do a printf. So any custom messages can be printed out. Uh, bit I am write, trying to write the my channel name bits in bytes by Stijo. Yeah, and I am putting slash in. And one more thing, like it will be more you know readable. I mean, uh, for my sake, I am just putting up a delay so that each messages will be you know printed within a measurable delay. So I'm just putting like a hundred millisecond delay as well. You no need to put this if you don't need the delay. I'm just putting it out. Just build the project. So now we have to set the debug configurations. Okay. Scroll down. Enable the serial wire viewer. And uh, whatever you have uh, remove i mean configured your edge cloak so that you put as uh, here so mine it was configured like uh, 4.0 megahertz so the same i am putting up here enable the serial wire put up the edge cloak value here so if these values are different from the one you have configured in there then we won't be able to see the printout messages so that is there actually so before you you know move to the next breakpoint or like if you i mean in the debug mode itself when you hit the first breakpoint i mean this is a default breakpoint so before trying to run and see like what is going to happen first of all we have to you know i have already taken up this uh, item data console so i'm just removing and i will show you like how to take this item data console so that is actually needed to see the printout messages so go to the uh, you know show view in here search for the you know uh, swd item data console so V ITM data console and after taking up this go to the configure trace on the settings button enable the zero port okay and again click I mean next uh, put a I mean click on the start trace this red button then resume it so you can see bits and bytes by Stijo is getting printed out yeah so you can scroll and see like it's getting printed up continuously and uh, similarly we can do a multiple you know printouts doesn't matter so that is basically
so whenever you are rerunning the project uh, just make sure that after you after your debugger starts uh, you will start the trace button i mean you will click on the trace button so that uh, you know the printout gets happening on the item data console so click on the item data console instead of trace start then go for so you can see bits in bytes by studio hello world so thank you all for watching bye